Does your Tesla have a lithium iron phosphate battery known as LFP? Do you know the difference? In this video, I'm going to help you find out if you have an LFP battery and how to charge it according to Tesla. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Since my video called How to Charge a Tesla Model 3, Tesla was using nickel cobalt aluminum batteries, also known as lithium ion. Since then, Tesla made the announcement that they were beginning to use lithium iron phosphate, or what many call LFP batteries in many of their new cars, in particular the standard range models, while continuing to use the original lithium ion for their longer range cars. So that change began to create some confusion among Tesla owners because the charging practices many of us have known for years had changed, at least if you had the new LFP battery. For us with the original lithium ion battery, according to Tesla, it's best to keep your car charged between 50 and 90% on a daily basis, while charging between 90 and 100% if you're planning a long road trip. But LFP batteries, on the other hand, break all of those rules. And according to the Tesla website, they recommend that you keep your car charge limit set to 100%, even for daily use, and that you also fully charge to 100% at least once a week. Tesla goes on to say, if your Model 3 has been parked for longer than a week, then they recommend driving as you normally would and charge it to 100% at your earliest convenience. Now this is a completely different mindset than those of us with lithium ion batteries. Now, allowing the car to sleep whenever it's not in use has always been a widely known practice. However, Tesla went out of their way to also point out that for those with LFP batteries to allow Model 3 to sleep regularly by parking it with sentry mode disabled when possible. Consider using exclude home, exclude work, and exclude favorite settings to prevent sentry mode from automatically activating at locations not needed. So the question is, if you recently purchased a new Tesla, how do you know which kind of battery you have? Well, it's actually very simple. Just go into your car and upon setting the charge limit, if you see daily and trip labeled on the battery, then you have the original lithium ion battery. But if you see 50 and 100% without the daily and trip, then you have the new LFP battery. So as more and more cars come off the line with LFP batteries, it'll be interesting to see how they hold up compared to the lithium ion batteries. But please don't be concerned. Just keep enjoying your Tesla, no matter what kind of battery you have. So, until next time, enjoy driving your Tesla.